Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to develop the R logic equivalent ladder diagram in WPL Delta PLC software. Uh, the logic, we'll go to the logic first. <coughs> Uh, this is the part of uh, Friday certification course on PLC, Proximity Sensor and Interface Driven Pneumatics to the department of uh, Tripoli, BGS Polytechnic. And this uh, video is also part of, uh, uh, this video is also covering the syllabus of uh, the uh, course code uh, that is 20 e 43p that is uh, Fundamentals of Automation Technology. So we'll go to the logic first. This is our logic. So our logic uh, that is there are two inputs here, input A and input B, and output we are taken as a lamp here. This is a tooth table. <coughs> so if you refer this, uh, if any one of the input is high or on, output is on. Even if both are on, also on. The only condition for off for the lamp is that is when input A is also off, input B is also off, then it is off condition. Okay, so let us understand this logic by going to the simulation uh, using the Delta SCADA software. Yeah, go to the run. Sorry, this is the and logic so we already submitted on logic right so this is we are going to yeah in the or logic This is our logic and go to the run. It's taking more time. This is our logic. There is input A and input B. When any one of the input is high, see here, this is output is high. This is in first condition input A is on, output B is off, output is on. Now the next condition is when input B is on, this one input B is on, input A is off, still output is on. When both are on, also output is on. When both are off, output is off. This is the working of our logic. Now let us go to the uh, software, uh, WPL software, how to construct this. Uh, I will repeat once again from the beginning. Let us go to the uh, software icon in the desktop, double click on it. So software is getting open. Go to file, new, project title is, that is uh, as per your convenience, you can type it, or logic, and PLC type should be SS2, con OK. And here, <coughs> our logic, I'll take one normally open contact, X0, I'll type it as input a and go to the bottom second line click on one more input that is x1 that is input b this is very important go to the line 1 see in the line 1 there is an option called f9 f9 is a vertical line click on that so vertical line is constructed and in the line 1 go to the f7 that is lamp 
click on OK. This is how it is connected and go to the, there is a code option here, just click on the code and this is what you will get it. Okay, this is the logic, input A and input B, any one is high, output is high. So if you want to simulate it, then switch on the simulator here, click on the simulator and then download the program, there is a download option, download the program to the PLC simulator. And if you want to check the output, go to the online here, control F4, and it should be in run mode. So go to the run mode here, that is control F11, run mode. So right click on the input, set on, see if input A is on, output, output is on. If input B is also on, output is on. If input A as well as input B both are on, output is on. Only it is off when when input A and input B both are off. So this is how we can uh, simulate uh, the R logic using WPL software. Or you can, if you have the PLC hardware, you can dump the uh, PLC program into the PLC. Uh, CPU with the help of communication that is RS-232 or RS-485 both are possible. So thank you everyone. Uh, I hope you, uh, you have understood the R logic construction or development uh, in WPL software. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.